the, the carrot that's being dangled over over these new drivers to get them in to do these type of do these type of you know jobs and everything you know mm-hmm. they 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 kind of like make you like drop everything and then and then put everything all in one basket don't do that don't yeah don't do that they did and that's how i felt and now that i know better you know i can do better yeah everything was in school you know what's illegal and that's what scared me at that time Right. Yeah, I'm like three years in the game now. I'm like, eh, I don't really care. And besides, another thing too, the dollar accounts, in my opinion, is is not made for women. I mean, well, look, I'm not. Hey, hey, ladies, no, I, ladies, no, don't, totally ladies, agree. don't come at me. Don't come at me because there <laughs> are some ladies that can handle it. But no, oh, yeah. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion. Don't get, don't, don't, don't hate on me. But I just think that. Uh, that the dollar accounts are not for women, period. No, I agree. Honestly, I don't think that's for normal people. Let's just be honest. Um, women especially, that's a lot of heavy lifting. Mm-hmm. And unless you're like a real-time bodybuilder, honey, just don't do it. <laughs> just <laughs> don't say, do it. Because even men have it. a complicated time doing that account. All right. So... So, and I, I'm I'm active for that one. So now, uh, you 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 just gave up with Warner, uh, because they oh, yeah. they they wouldn't uh they wouldn't work with you. And that's you know that's nope. understandable. You know your first your first company is not going to be your be all end all. At least that's what I thought for my first company, which was U.S. Express. I thought it was I thought it was going to be my end all be all, but. It, yeah, it, it, it I wasn't. thought so too. Um, so now you're back in you're you're back in Arizona. Uh, yep. What's your situation now with uh with Roadmaster as far as paying them back? Are you still paying them back, or what's the deal? Nope. Um, listen, okay. and I'm not telling other people to do this because <laughs> you know the American way is to pay your debt, but uh. I don't plan on staying in America much longer. They can have my bet. I'm not paying none of them back. Not not, not one. Okay? Not one. <laughs> can you throw that bomb at them boys? Like, hey, y'all gonna treat me bad? Yeah, don't 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 worry about getting another red penny out of me. Y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to come y'all gonna have to come after me. But I I, I am gonna say this though. They they are gonna they are gonna hit your credit. Uh, they're going to hit your credit report. And that's okay. Oh, yeah, so. they did. And, you know, at first I was really sad. Like, oh, my gosh, I got to pay all my student loans back. This is really bad. And then, you know, I realized <clears throat> that's only in America. That's nowhere else in the world. So America can have my debt because I'm moving out of the country. They can have it. I won't be back. Once I leave King, you in March... You- where are you going, Kenya? Why are you leaving me? I just met you. Well, hey, I hope you still. I, I I'm hope going you, to Mexico. Uh, Mexico, you go Mexico. Yes, I'm going to Mexico. Man, what, what's yes. what's what's Speaking. down? What's what's down in Mexico, uh, uh, Kenya? I, I I need to know. <sighs> okay, I mean, I'll be trying to. I listen. I'm gonna put you on. What you do with this information is up to you. However, Mexico does not have the racism that we have here in America. Um, it's just very different out there. People are like, oh, the cartel. You know, <laughs> the mafia don't approach you in America. Why do you think they're going to approach you in Mexico? The cartel only mess with people, they mess with them. I'm not that person. I don't want nothing to do with what you got going on. I want to mind my business and stay in my lane. So that's what I'm going to do. It's cheaper in Mexico. I could work part-time here in America online, move to Mexico, keep my same U.S. dollars, and live a very comfortable life in Mexico. Oh, man. Very comfortable. So you say, so you say you plan on bouncing out of here in March. So is there, oh, yeah, I'm do you, so do you have, do, do you have a line, what, driving or, or what, what are we going to be doing in Mexico? I'm actually going to open up my shop. I do hair. Um, I do nails. I make lip gloss, and I'm gonna write my book. Okay, I I get the book part, but hair yeah. 
in Mexico. Yes. Yes, because there are a lot of black people in Mexico, Mexico, especially where I'm moving to. Um, they have locks. I know how to do locks. Mm. I know how to do natural hair. Okay. I, I will make a decent living. I'm not going to say it's going to be the best. I'm not saying that. But I'll be very comfortable. Okay. Okay. So are so, you are you still going to are you still going to keep your 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 CDL because once you get down I I'm not sure how it is in Mexico but I'm a, I'm assuming you you'll probably have to did, did you did you do any research as far as CDL driving in Mexico? Yes. So I'm still going to have my CDL. Mm -hmm. Um they will not make me switch it over to a Mexico driver's license because I live in Arizona. So I don't really have to do much with my driver's license as long as I have my driver's license and my passport. I can still drive trucks in Mexico. Okay. Okay. No issue. Now, Mexico oh, no. uh, is Mexico Spanish okay. speaking? Mm -hmm. Spanish yes, speaking? But you, yep. but you, you don't think you have any issues with 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 the with the language down here or anything like that? No. Um, so I feel like the best way to learn any language is in submersion. So if I go to Mexico, I'm forced to learn Spanish because that's the only way I will be able to survive. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. And you say you got until March. Yep, I'm leaving in March. So you, so you, so it's definite March. Oh yeah, it's definite. March. All right. So what you, so what, so you from now until March, you just, just preparing to move, pretty much. Pretty much saving, um, looking for houses. Okay. Just yeah, preparing to leave. My mind's already been made up. I'm gonna go. After this last company, I was just, I'm, I'm tired. I can't, I can't do it anymore. And I don't want to. All right. So what, so since you, you, you made the plan to move down to Mexico, is, is this a, 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 a whole family decision or just, just, just you and your kid or baby's father? What do, what? No, just me. My daughter and my soon-to-be child. I'm pregnant now, so that's, it's just going to be the three of us. What? Kenya, hold up. I'm Kenya. listening. Kenya, hold up. All right, so you got so your daughter, and, and you're currently pregnant. So uh -huh. did you discuss this with, uh, with the baby's father's? Yes, I did. I did. Okay, so how they taking it? Or him? Um, he was really just like, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, very supportive. My mom is very supportive. My sisters are very supportive. So I'm just, you know, my mom always says, just go try it. Uh -huh. You know, if it doesn't work out, you can always come home. Well, I'm gonna go try it. But yeah, that's the, I, hey, hey, more power to you. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. More definitely, more power to you. But I'm, I'm just looking at it from a father standpoint now. Like, I mean, it's is it one for both or two? One for both. So, okay. So let me ask you this. Let me let me ask you this then. Why isn't he making that journey with you so he can be um, with his, you know? Originally, he wanted to. Okay. Originally, he was all for it going. Right. Um, but he has some other things going on in the U.S. that he honestly cannot leave for right now. So I'm not sure if he's going to be able to actually make it or not. Okay. Is he still, is he still part of their lives? Oh yeah. Very much so. How is that gonna how is that gonna affect him you going down to Mexico and he's well, I'm 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 hoping that you would you know I mean if he makes it great. 
But if he doesn't, you know, that's sad. And, you know, I'm sure we'll miss him. Oh, is a damn, great thing. damn it, Kenya! <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, suppose your kids want to want to see their fathers. Are I mean, father, are you able to be like, all right, you know, I'll 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 come up to the U.S. and oh yeah, I'll still come visit. My mom's still here. I'm not going to not come see my mom, and my sisters, my grandmother. You ba- know, I'll baby's still come father. <laughs> yeah, him too. Him too. <laughs> And you know, if he can if he can obtain his passport, I'm sure he'll come too. Um I mean, Mexico, I know it sounds like it's so far away, but it's not. People visit Cancun every year and I'm actually right next to Cancun. Right. I mean you down well, you're down in Arizona and, and I, I've been down to El Paso, Texas all the time. All I had to do is all I had to do is look over the fence and there's Mexico over there. So you know. Right. Right. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like my uncle my uncle moved to Turkey. So he is not a quick hot skip and a jump. Like he's far. You gotta do a lot of planning and a lot of saving to get to Turkey. Yeah, not that much for Mexico. So if you know, my kids wanna come back. Oh, we want to go see my dad for the summer. Oh, I will pack your shit up right now. You can go. Oh God! Is the relationship between you and the you you and the, well, I've, well, I'm I'm gonna, well, I'm not even gonna speculate or assume. I, I'd rather hear it from the horse's mouth. So, is the relationship between you you and the father still good? I mean, I'm, I, I guess yeah, because you have, I, I guess because you're having the second baby. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's good enough. <laughs> yeah, good enough to good enough to give him another kid. <laughs> yeah, one more. No longer nobody. <laughs> co-parenting is really a great thing. I just want to say that for all parents who decide to co-parent, it can work. You just got to make it work. All right. Well, oh, it's not bad. Well, King, you man. Well, you know, again, I I really do appreciate you coming on, sharing your story, man. I mean, this this was been interesting for me tonight. So I really do appreciate you coming on, chopping it up with me, man. No problem, anytime. I got stories about a lot of different things. So if you ever uh, want to have me back on, uh, I am uh, more. Oh, uh, don't worry. Oh, uh, don't don't worry. We we'll, we'll we'll definitely uh we'll we'll definitely get it uh get it back in, man. Let me uh. Let me go in and uh, ask you a, a a little uh a little bit before you get on up out of here. Um, being a female, you know, being a female driver, you 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 tried out the the dollar account. You already knew that it wasn't for you. Uh, was you what was the other any? I mean, at first it was Warner. You you tried your hand at a at another trucking company. How did I'm I'm assuming that didn't work out either. No, I had, um, so after Warner, I had three other companies I actually tried. And one of them honestly wasn't that bad. Um, it wasn't the company. It was who I was working for in the company because he was an owner operator. Mm -hmm. And that's why I left that company. Um, and then the other two companies, they just, (laughs) Frey Miller was one of them. And that was a terrible experience as well. They actually kicked me off the truck, or they tried to. Um, I was a little more comfortable then. Like, right, I'm going to get to my destination before y'all try to make me take all my stuff off this truck. Right. And then um, my last company, it's a smaller company. And for the most part, it's a good company. But I feel like what ended up happening was my dispatcher gave me directions to drop an empty trailer. Okay. Mm-hmm. And... When I got to the location, I reached out to him and said, hey, I don't see an entrance. He said, well, we had, in his exact words, he said, we had other drivers drop yesterday and we didn't have a problem from them. I sent you the address. I don't know what to tell you. It's there. I said, okay. So I'm looking for an entrance. I finally find an entrance and I told him I was getting ready to drop the trailer I said, it's the only one that I see that's open, but I'm not sure. So Mm -hmm. he told me to take pictures. I did. Got in the truck, and I went an hour and a half away from my location because that's where the closest truck stop was. Right. The next morning, (laughs) he told me I dropped it off in the wrong spot, and I had to go pick it up. I went to go pick it up. 
and somebody else was there. Another driver from the company was there and they told me to bobtail home and that the owner would be giving me a call today. Now he hasn't called me today at all. So I asked him for a load. He said the market is dead, which we all know that's not true. Wow. Okay. So hold up very quick. He he just basically told you the the bobtail home. So you you you're back you're back in Arizona, back home. Mm-hmm. I was in Where, California and I bobtailed to Arizona. You wait. You literally bobtailed from California back to Arizona. Yeah. How many miles? Was he, that? When I asked him, <laughs> like four hundred ninety eight miles. Damn. So, so five. So they and I asked him before I started bobtailing. I'm like. Do you not have a load for me? He said market is dead right now. I'm like, hmm. No, nah, the market the market ain't dead. That's, that's I was like, yeah, they're about to let me go. go. That's just another way of that's just another way of saying they're gonna let you go, pretty much. Yeah. Um so I came home, cleaned off the truck, and I'm just waiting for my boss to call me. So where's the truck at now? It's here. Uh I'm actually at my mom's house right now. Oh, so okay. it's here in her complex. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So tomorrow, you are inspecting a phone call, yada, 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 and, and then either yay, try, you know, we're going to try with you, or nay, we're just going to let you go, pretty much. Right. We'll find out tomorrow. All right. Well, i tell you what, um, how about how about this? Let me... um. You know, let me let me know tomorrow. You know, just give me you know give me a call or you know text me. You know, you got the number. You can uh, keep the number. So definitely text me. Let me know. Uh, let me know how it go. And if you want to come on and uh, and and talk about that, as well as some yeah. other as well as some other stories, you know, we we could definitely get it in. Yeah, that sounds good. I can do that. All right, Kenya. Thank you. <laughs> enjoyed my conversation with you tonight that's what we do over here at the lockout man podcast show where the best conversations starts over here so definitely you know if you want to get in or get in or get involved or just have some stories to tell like can you right here definitely let me know man that's what's up can you thank you very much for sharing your story with me and uh and uh spending the time with me until next time man we'll get together all right Till next time. Thank you so much for having me. All right. You take it easy. You too. Good night.